Hello everyone, welcome back to Infinity Physics. In this lecture, we will discuss a question from the textbook. Example 10.2 An object 4 cm in size is placed at a distance of 25 cm in front of a concave mirror of focal length 15 cm. Let's analyze the situation. What is given here? Uh, concave mirror, right? Having focal length 15 cm. So this is the focal length f is equals to 15. See here it is lying on the left of the mirror. So it is minus 15. Right. And we know that r is equals to 2f that is radius of curvature is equals to 2 into focal length. So at a distance of 30 cm that is minus 30 we can say because it is lying on this side here there will be a center of curvature means this distance is the radius. And we have placed an image at a 25 centimeter. So here the image, the object will be at a distance of 25 centimeter. Having the height is 4 centimeter. So h or height of the object is 4. It is plus 4. Why? Because it is lying above the principal axis. And the object distance, this distance is minus 25 because it is lying on the left of the mirror. Here we have placed the object between C and F. So we will get our image beyond center of curvature, right? That we are sure. So we have to find the perfect distance where we should place the screen at some point here. So we will get the sharp image. That is we have to find the image distance at whatever place we will get image at that place. If we place the screen, then we will get a sharp and clear image. And we also know that in this case, we will get an inverted image. So nature is inverted and the size is magnified but we will find the actual height of the uh, image so here from the data we can write 1 by v plus 1 by that is we have mirror formula 1 by v plus 1 by u is equals to 1 by f we want v so we'll make v as a subject so 1 by v is equals to 1 by f minus 1 by u because here i am taking this u towards this side right so here what is given 1 by v is equals to what is f it is minus 15 minus u is minus 25 so minus minus plus so 1 by 25 now uh, let's solve this by using a lcm method so lcm of 15 and uh, 25 is 75 so here 15 phi's are 75 so here phi but here sign is minus so minus plus 25 threesa so we will get 1 by v is equals to minus 5 plus 3 that is minus 2 by 75 so here we get 1 by v is equals to minus 2 by 75 so minus 2 by 75 it means 1 by v is equals to minus 2 by 75 so v is equals to 75 by 2 is equals to minus here minus sign is there right so minus 37.5 centimeter that is the image will be at a distance of minus this right at a distance of minus 37.5 from the mirror now we want to find the height of the image as the image is on the left of the mirror so image is real right this minus sign indicate the image is real because it is lying on the left of the mirror now to find the height of the image we have m is equals to h i by h o and also m is equals to minus v by u for mirror see here we have v and also we have u also in the question it is given height of the object so by making hi as a subject we will get uh, the answer right so hi is equals to here we use this right so minus v by u into we take h o height of the object this side so it becomes h o so minus v what is minus v v is minus 37.5 so minus minus 37.5 divide by what is u is given u is minus 25 so here minus minus plus right so this minus sign remaining here h o is remaining so into h o 
so if you multiply this here you can see here right here minus v v is minus 37.5 h is plus 4 and u is minus 25 so here this minus minus becomes plus this minus and this minus becomes plus here minus sign is remaining right so after solving this you will get h i height of the image is equals to minus 6 see here h i is minus 6 means it is lying like this the image is inverted and the height of the object h o is 4 centimeter here 6 6 is larger than 4 it means the image is see minus n only indicates the nature of the image right and this 6 indicates the size of the image so here it is 6 centimeter and here object is 4 centimeter so we can say the image is larger that is magnified size of the actual object so have a nice day in the next lecture we will solve next question